This is not your average art show. It's a new exhibit to honor Mexican painter Frida Kahlo. Event developers call it a sensory journey into the world of one of Mexico's most iconic artists. Making everything fully immersive is like you're, you're in a space where you don't see no boundaries, where there is no limits. While the music and animations are captivating, the exhibit is another experience altogether. I recommend that everyone visit, walk around, make your way across the curtains, come here and dance, or go across the way and paint. It took event organizers two years to bring the artwork to life. It's the result of the, the, of the work of uh, almost 90 people working day and night and th for thousands of hours, uh, designing, composing music, and creating these amazing uh, visuals that we see today. The music is, a, is an original score. Uh, it was composed by a Mexican composer and it's interpreted by uh, a band of uh, Oaxacan uh, musicians. Of the more than 140 paintings by Frida Kahlo, 55 are self-portraits, often depicting whimsical settings representing the many hardships Kahlo faced in life. Such as overcoming childhood polio, surviving a deadly bus accident in her teenage years, and enduring more than 30 surgeries throughout her life. Some of Kahlo's contemporaries characterized her artistic style as surrealist, a label she rejected. Frida Kahlo once said she painted neither nightmares or dreams, but rather her own reality. The Frida exhibit in Mexico City opened its doors on July 6th to coincide with Kahlo's birthday. Strict sanitation measures against COVID-19 have been taken to keep the experience safe. Organizers say this underscores another reason why the Frida exhibit is so relevant today. Apart from being remembered as an icon of Mexican culture, Frida's message of resilience in times of adversity is perhaps what resonates most among her fans. In Frida's own words, at the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think we can. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.